This playthrough is rated E for everyone. Everyone, run! You can say it all you want, Milda. I'll never run away from you. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Grandia. In the last episode, we went to the abandoned village of Lane to find out it was in some eldritch horror dimension. But we were able to fight the Gaia battler again and got the horn back. But now, unfortunately, it is time to say adieu to our favorite drunk lady herself by going back to Lane Village and giving the horn. <sighs> it was fun while it lasted. The southern charms of the bell herself can only be there for a short time. Otherwise, you know what they say about the candle burning twice as bright and all that other stuff. So, I think you all have the same. I think you all have the same dialogue in between. Oh. She had a different dialogue. Let me reset there. I knew some people have some different dialogue, but not everyone, so. Alright, let's see. Yeah, that, I was just going in there just to reset it really quick, so. But yeah, we that place was weird. I like that I like that dungeon just because of how weird it is and everything like that, but Yep, sure did. The lower village, huh? Sorry to say you're right. Them folks are still petrified. And in and in uh, uh, crystals and stuff like that. But we did get old Master Dorland's horn back, so there's still hope. Yeah, at least that's something, so. Yeah, let's see, I don't think you have anything in the end. Usually I don't have anything to say, so. Yep. We did whoop them monsters, but don't think the village will come back. Them folks are still as stony as before. Hmm, yeah, it's, but we beat the battler at least, so it won't get worse, I guess? Maybe, I don't know. We don't know how petrification works in Greek mythology. You're pretty much, unless it's some gift of the gods or some something like that, you're pretty much just stoned forever. That's it. You're basically dead. You're not dead. Airplane plants? Oh, well, okay. Kind of reminds me of certain seeds from trees that would propel her down. I forgot what they were actually called, though. I think most of these people don't have new dialogue, but I'll, I'll skim through them really quick just to make sure. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, he, uh... Let's see if it says... Okay, let me <laughs> let me reset it really quick. Uh, we didn't get that dialogue from... I think it was, but it happens after you talk to the... Uh, the uh, uh, owners of the creature, and they start making jokes at Rap's expense. So, let me try that again. <laughs> Guess what its name is? It's a Rap! Say hello to the Rap. I'm out of here. Oh, come on, Rap. It's all in good fun. Look, isn't he a good boy? Isn't he a good little Rappy Wappy? Now I know how the Lanian women feel when they lose their tempers. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like Rap's kind of the, uh, uh, you know, comic relief character, even though he d isn't technically, but it seems like everyone makes fun of him the most out of all the characters in the game. Or a lot of the jokes around him. Yeah. Research and raps and all that stuff. Yeah, the men just turn into brainiacs, apparently. I'd like to get evolved into turn into bra big old brains. Yeah. That's rap, all right. Especially the... Oh, yeah, we, we heard that part before. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't talk to the creature after after learning about what they call them raps, and they're and he's like, mm. being the name as an animal. Technically, my name, my actual name, real life name, actually means something like that. You could use it in a sentence normally, but uh, but it's not that bad. Okay, no, nope. it's all the same. I think most of the people that have the different dialogues outside the thing. But yeah, this is more of a skim it before we go get Dorlin his horn back. Yeah, enjoy the last little bits. Yeah, I forgot I hadn't shown off uh, Milda's runaway line. That's why I did that at the beginning of the episode, so. Okay, no, that's the same. Oh, the guy's fully grown now. Wow, that did not take long at all. So now he's become a brainiac. Coming of age is weird. It's probably really hard, too. Uh, well, anyway. Let's not talk about that, shall we? Yep, there he is. Hey, Milda, do all the men in Lane get so weird when they come of age? Yeah, I guess they do. That is weird that that's a... Like, they all look the same, and then as soon as they become of age, they turn into cowmen. But wait, but wait a minute. Wasn't he just a little boy? All the men folk in Lane are like this, Justin boy. They come of age like a house on fire. 
Wait, thanks to you? How? What'd I do to help you guys on, uh, help you on that? I assumed it just kind of happened. Yeah, you, know, you just kind of, you know, nature and all that fun stuff. How are you doing, Durland? Your kid's grown, grown. All dog with this horn, the door will snap out and run away. Hurry and take it to him, youngins. Hot dog! Yeah, every time I hear that, I always think of, uh, uh, It's a Wonderful Life. I haven't seen that movie in a while. I usually try to see it around Christmas time, but I missed it this year because I was busy. Even though it's shown on TV, like, all the time. Yeah, in this town, uh, all the women do the uh, field work and everything like that. While all the men do all the brain thinkings. Yeah, you need to sleep right, dude. Otherwise, you know, you won't be able to retain that knowledge. Yep, sure did. I hope so. It, it's, I mean, yeah, there's some selfishness involved when it came to us doing it because we wanted to do it for ourselves too, but it just so happens to be a thing that helped everyone else. Oh, whoops. Shouldn't have said that, huh? Oh, well. You ruined the boy. You spoiled him. Now he's no, he's a no good Nick. Nah, you'll be fine, I assume. Alright, I'll see how her dar uh, darling is. Uh, thinks about this. No, the sweetheart, I'm happy. Mighty bad to see you back safe. <laughs> Excuse me. You all need to get that horn to old Dorland. He'll talk to you as soon as you, as soon as you do. Yeah, I guess he's embarrassed to be all, uh, ha uh, all, uh, sweet when, when we're around. So, you know, I guess but maybe maybe people outside the village get up, get on on his PDA, and they're like, "Darlin," he's like, "What?" Sorry to say, but even though we fought Guy and beat him, the village didn't change at all. Yeah, I think they're permanent, dude. Unless the power of love comes in. I hope not. <laughs> I'm I'm actually not a big fan of when love saves the day. It it kind of makes me gag. I feel like it's a, a really cheap way to, to solve a thing, and then and when it, I guess when magic is involved, you can kind of ice cream. Hmm. Hey, it's cold, you know. What are you trying to kill me? Oh wait, though, we've heard that dialogue before. Yeah, sun's about to turn into a bull too. Can't stop it. Puberty hits everyone, no matter what. With all this yawn, I can't keep studying, no matter what anyone says. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting sleepy just listening. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, sorry. What was that? No, he's talking about... That, that dialogue's the same. Where <laughs> Rap's just like, can we leave? This guy's talking. He's not gonna stop talking. Oh, spring's over? Oh, wait. <laughs> what is winter like? Wait, I don't want to think about it. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, winter's probably like, you know, hide in your house for all... Well, actually, these guys have the, uh... Now this lady cares about rap? What, I gotta have your permission or something? <laughs> and I got the horns back, no problem. What, do you think a few monsterettes would get in my way? Uh, you angry or something? Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, sheesh, I came back safely, didn't I? Wasn't she the one that was getting on us, and then all of a sudden she cares about what we're doing? What's going on here? Okay, so I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. What, she, like, pretend to be a mom to him or something like that? See, there's no reason to worry. I got the old geezer's horn. Here I am. What a man. Oh, maybe it's something else. Well, actually, it wasn't really alone. I mean, we, uh, helped. I think, I think Rap might have a, might have an admirer amongst the Lanian women. Hey, I'm jealous, too. I'm... Milda's my favorite character in the game overall. I like all the characters in the game. I just have particular fondness for Milda. Right, eat, sleep, and grow up to be a bull. Yeah, I don't know. If that's something I want to grow up to. A lot of people say it's you grow up to be a bear, but yeah. Like a teenager, love? That doesn't fit that old geezer. How old is the man? He's supposed to be a wise man, right? Shouldn't he know better? I guess to err is, is humanoid, I guess. 
Darren was the one who thought that. Okay, that's the same, I believe. Okay. I said trying to skim through this since a lot of, it, a lot of it's the same. Okay, yep, yeah, salty. No. Oh. <laughs> Y'all gotta be a bit older before you think about making it to the foothills. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I have this horn. Your eyes are sharp as ever. We went down the lower village and got back, we did. Yeah, he'll be fine, hopefully. We'll see what happens, though. He's a rather unique man. Unique? That's an understatement. Yeah, he's, he's like, lusting after some random, random, like, floating lady. You know, you're like, um... Sledding, huh? Man, it's been forever since I sled. Ever since I became a, a teenager, I haven't really done stuff like that anymore. This is too much. I can't believe this kid. Into the ice water, huh? Gee, I think I'll pass, but maybe Rap would like to? What are you, nuts? What, do I look like a polar bear? Well, why am I disappointing the both of you? <laughs> it's because that's not what we do, man. Rainbow Spring, huh? Okay, not yet, huh? Maybe one day. One day. Let's see. Okay. Actually, let me reset that one kid's dialogue really quick. The uh, one about the the C. Justin had some different dialogue from him, so. Well, I said, it, it kind of th throws you off when not everyone gets new dialogue. It's like a handful of people get it. So you're just trying to remember, like, okay, not everyone in the village gets it. It's got to be this person, this person, this person. You know, when you're trying to show it all off, so. Yeah, the ocean. It's a big thing. You'll get it one day. It's in books, too. Well, you sure do know a lot about it. Okay, that's it for that. So, all right, let's go get Dora on his horn. You're not gonna act like a super, super nerd now, are you? Oh, yeah, you are. You are you. That's who. I remember you, I do. I couldn't forget if I tried to remember. Talk about Looney. Hold on, Pops. Just wait a bit. We'll have your horn back. Back to normal. Okay, Milda, this is all we need to get the information from her, right? Uh, of course, here all we need to do is put them on here, these bumps, and there we go. What, you just twisted on like a screw or something like that? You okay, dude? The dude? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Resurrection! Hey, Pops, are you really, really alright? Master Doran, we have so many questions. Look at this. Ah, oh, the key to the portals of Angelou, spoken of in the words of yore, one step closer to Mistress Yete. So it is true, this is the key to Lent. No, not to the Shrine of Lent. It is for a place you know well, the Shrine of Zilpadon. What? Is Zilpadon a shrine? Yes, according to the words of yore, a Lent was the Shrine of Knowledge and Zilpadon the Shrine of Wisdom. Both floating shrines and both possessing the key to the other interested to those who were worthy. The three eyes of the shrine door in the middle of Zilpadon judge the worth of the entrant. The Moge, the oldest people on the ground, are said to possess the Medal of Knowledge. This is also the key to Lent. The Moge? Guido with the rabbit ears? The Moge are a most ancient people, said to have descended with the shrine of Zilpadon in the age of, age of Angelou. The Moge control the shrine of Zilpadon and will open the door only if you prove worthy. To go to Lent, go first to Zilpadon to obtain the Medal of Knowledge, the key to Lent. Throw it into the Rainbow Spring, and the long closed door to Lent will open once again. When you reach the legendary floating shrine and meet Mistress Liete, burn her image into your mind for me. Then I will finally, finally have obtained the image of Mistress Liete with my own hands. Your own hands? This guy's dangerous. Yeah, he's like a creepy, uh, you know, like uh, one of those guys from like... Uh, Akihabara that collect like uh, you know half half naked female dolls and stuff like that and you're like okay dude calm down a bit hark young travelers the door to the shrine in the center of Zilpaden make haste and obtain the doll a medal of knowledge only then will you the way to Lent from the Rainbow Bridge be open to you unto you yeah, okay well, thanks for that I guess huh so we need to go back to Zilpaden and talk to one of the Moge someone of importance and get this thing and uh, come back here. Gotcha. Now well, here it is, folks. The sad day, indeed. Not as sad as Sue leaving, but still. Well, ain't that grand, Justin boy. Y'all got one step closer to the land. That's right. Thanks to you and everyone else, Milda. Justin boy, pray this is goodbye. 
What? But why? Yeah, that's why I've been asking this whole game. Wish you were here at the beginning. Yeah, I know I'm real the whole to y'all, but I just can't live my darling. Poor old darling didn't eat a thing while I was away. Yeah, as skinny as a board. That's skinny? <laughs> Wait a minute, you call that skinny? I see. Well, that's too bad. Guess it can't be helped. You know, it's kind of interesting in a game, a person not joining the group anymore, because, I mean, there's really, at the at this point, there's no saving the world situation, so it's just a, oh, we join you for a couple of missions, you know, for fun, and then we go back to our regular lives. Very rarely do games ever do something like that, where a person actually gets out of the adventure game, or at least doesn't put themselves in as, as much danger as they used to, so they, you know, survived old age or whatever. Obviously, in JRPGs, almost, it never happens the other way around, but I like the fact that someone just leaves the party just because... They feel like they've done enough or they need to go back home or something like that. Does, I'm trying to remember any other RPG that really has a, main, a, a, like an, a character that joins your party and leaves just because they're either tired of it all or they found someone and they wanted to stay behind. I think Dragon Quest VII is the only one that I can remember that ha that, that happens to. Uh, spoilers, I guess. But, Milda, thanks for everything. Give our best to Darlin, too. Justin, boy, y'all might be having a hard time and feel like giving up. But don't, okay? Don't y'all dare give up now. Fina girl, rat boy, you keep it going now, you hear? Milda, you're all right. Milda, give our best to Darwin. Oh, that's the first time Fina's talked in a while. Well, she has talked, but it's so rare now because of how she's thinking about Lean that it's, uh, you know, she's kind of a uh, Debbie Downer right now. Y'all be here in the, I'll be here on the village. Y'all, don't be strangers. Take care of y'all. Yeah, we can still talk to her. It's just, you know, she's not in the party anymore. And thus, uh, all of her equipment gets dropped into the stash. And her, uh, oh, off screen, I raised her weapon levels all to 30 just to even it out. So now uh, she'll have her own item books there that we can use on our party members. That's all up to y'all. Good luck, just make sure y'all get a souvenir of a lamp for Durham and it'll make him jump for joy. I'm sure it will. All right, I'll make it. I'll make it to Lent for sure. That's the spirit. Take care, y'all. It was short but sweet. I sure did enjoy traveling with y'all. Just a peanut wrap. Uh, goodbye, uh, goodbye, uh, Milda, our favorite, our favorite strong girl. <laughs> oh well, I think you have the same thing as before. So, I think there's some slight different dialogue when when uh, Milda leaves the party, but but other than that, so yeah, it was short but sweet. Uh, she was with us for a decent amount of time when you think about it. So, I think that's all the same. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of this is the same dialogue, so. A wise man, I don't know about that. He's still an old geezer to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the same as before. I just, you just don't get the... You just don't get the Milda dialogue from it. Yeah, I really like Milda. I, I, I think I just like her, well, other than her, like, character type. But, you know, she just... Sweet. She's basically the whole, um, you know, giant teddy bear type of uh, character. Whereas they look tough and they are tough, but deep down they're actually very nice people. They just happen to be big people or strong people overall. Uh, young and I happen to be an adult. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> yeah. He's a dream. Darwin's a dream boat. What? Why would I want to grow up and get eaten as someone's steak? Yeah, I wouldn't. Not, I'm not fish or friends, not food. Okay, that's the sorry lady. Yeah, the lady that just all of a sudden is like really into rap. All like I think it's the whole love hate or the hate relationship. You know, where two people really like argue with each other and they end up having like a passionate romance. Although nine times out of ten, those romances don't end up very well. They usually end up because they only love. They only. They only got into the the passion of it. They never because they they enjoyed that aspect of it, but they could never love each other or, or respect each other. Very rarely does that actually work the other way around. So, not saying it can't happen. I'm just saying that unless the people uh, uh, mature over over, you know, that type of relationship, then it'll never last. You know. If you're in a relationship it's all about it's all about sacrifice but never sacrifice everything it's just you know it's a it's a you work together with your with your partner to uh 
have a loving relationship. Too many people are selfish when it comes to stuff like that. They they feel like they need to take, 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 but never give. So the way to the Shrine of the Lent is through Zell Payton. That's what Dorian told you? Then y'all need to go on and get just boy. Leete's wait for sure. Wait for the chosen one. Yep, thanks, thanks, darling. Maybe we'll come back another day. See how things are going. But for now, we've uh, we've had our time. We had uh, Milda here helping us out, even though she was super slow. And uh, yeah, that's that's really the only problem I have with with her. And uh... okay, these are all the same. That's the only problem I have with her and Gadwin. They were just way too slow. There's ways to speed her up, like I said, with the the suit and the uh, soul, uh, the metal. But other than that, they just they just instantly fell behind. Yeah, there's a snowman. Look, a snowman. Children are the same all over. They make snowmen here too. Yeah, that's similar to the thing we saw in the uh, 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 the village, the abandoned village. She's got the worst temper. Well, actually, when we did see her, she did go berserker mode on us, so... Or at least rap, anyway. Well, when we met her first, she was pretty much lost it. Yeah, we actually beat her pretty easily, because she's too slow. Yeah. That's the problem. Speed. That's why the speed... A key, this, the key is speed. Look, could you find another name for those animals? Rap eats raps. It just isn't pleasant. Well, sorry, they named this way before you came into existence, dude. Your culture just happened to name you Rap. I almost thought as a kid that his name was supposed to be like a play on, you know, rap, like the rap music itself, but, eh. But he never says anything like that. It's not like he has a... Uh, it's not like uh, he has his voice actors like that, too, so... Actually... Kid. I was a teenager when I played this game. I guess by my age, I guess technically I was a kid when you think about it, but uh, yeah, I was a teenager when I played this game. See, I was in high school by the time this game came out. And this game came out in what, is it 97? That was a really good year for games, like especially RPGs. Like uh, this came out, Final Fantasy 7 came out. Man, I'd have to look at the list of all the games that came out, but I remember 97 and 97 being a really good year, 98 being a pretty good year, too. Okay, another from you. Weird eyes. What, you, oh! <laughs> yep, the second one's been changing now. The Wisdom of the Ages. Well, good for you. They're all, I guess the other one's gonna be last, I guess. That is a weird, uh, that is a weird thing that's all in their horns. It's like cutting out a piece of their brain or something like that. Except you can restore it back if you just put their horns back on. That is crazy, man. What do you think about it? Yeah, that's the same as before. Okay. Let's talk to Durlin and then we'll head on out. Yeah, this place will be missed, but hey. Is old Dorlin back to normal? Darlin and I can breathe easy now. You done good, Justin boy. Thanks. I suppose you all head out for Zill Payton to get the key to Lent. Good luck, boy. Okay, yeah, the same as before, so. Yeah, very, uh, very, uh, yeah, the very nice part of the game is, is going through, getting Milda and doing this whole section here, but, uh, all good things must come to an end. And we'll get new party members. Spoilers, we'll get more party members. There you go. Just some slightly different dialogue now that Milda, Milda is in the group. Uh, who knows? He's smart, but I guess he's not that smart when you think about it, so. Oh, no, no, that's right. I don't know why I went in there. There's nothing really in there to check, so. Well, all right. On to Zil Payton and see what, uh, and see what, uh, what awaits us there. I wonder which Moge we'll find that'll tell us the, uh, yeah, we have to run all the way back through these places. Now nah, we just could just skip it, so. Oh, yeah, I need to go to the end to show off what, what, uh, uh, what Milda dropped off. Let's see. Dorman said the temple entrance is in the middle of Zilpaden. But there's no temple in the middle of the town. There's a fountain there. I get it. The fountain is the entrance. Whoa, for you, that's pretty good thinking, Just. 
I wonder if you hit it. Let's check it out right away. Yeah. Money, money, money. I don't remember these guys have a lot of different dialogue choices. I don't think so. I'll skim through some of it, but I'm not going to go through every single person because I believe it doesn't change that much. The problem is it's been a few episodes since I've been back here, so I don't remember uh, everyone's dialogue. What? I can't believe that. So what am I going to do if I don't live and return alive? Come back from the dead or something? Sure. Okay. I'm sold. You have to be kidding. It would be a little difficult to complain. Yeah. Say, old man, who'd buy such a thing? Yeah, I don't know, man. An idiot? A fool? A foolish fool? A fooly fooly fool? Nope. What is this? What kind of ad? Oh, okay, yeah, that's the same as before. I just assume a lot of the buildings are going to be the... Not the same. There's so many people in this town, too, that I... I you know, I, I wouldn't think they would actually change all the dialogue, because they do that in some towns where a lot of characters don't even get dialogue differences. So you're just assuming that uh, not everyone gets it. Hang in there, just like that cat picture. Bat medicine. 40 apiece, huh? Because it's the same. Med medicine bat. Yeah, they're, they're haggling. 35G it is then. Sold for 35G. Whoa, the Mogay doing business in this kind of place? No. You're in charge, huh? Well, what are you selling them? Zilpa? Okay. I don't know where Zilpa is, but I'll trust it. Uh, assistant, you're using big words, old man. Physical, yeah, we are physical labor. We're all about fight, fist and fighting around the world. What? That's only boring work. I'll pass on that. Washing dishes and all that? Yeah. No, thank you. That's the one job profession I'll never go into, which is working in the in the food industry, whether it be a servant or whatever. Nothing wrong with people doing that. It's just I will not do that. I'm sorry. Besides, there's much better paying jobs anyway. And ones that are dirtier, but more like I'd rather be a garbage man. They get paid a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a dirty business, but still, someone's got to do it, man. Okay, nothing for me. Although I do need to buy the armor eventually. I'm not going to buy it right now, but I'll probably buy the aura armor here now that I've got a decent amount of a chunk of change. But yeah, the main reason why I never upgraded Mild is one, she's a temporary party member. And really, if you if you play right, you never have to like worry about Mild's gear. Or you can just give her hand-me-downs from everyone else. So. Right, okay, the fortune teller over. Okay, the quad of people visit me to request their fortune stolen. But I have limits. I can't see anything for some people, and I can only tell a person's fortune once. But fortunately, it appears that your fortune is ended. I can't look at it. The star that's too bright. Now that if you need my power, you may come at any time. As much possible, I'll be empowered. Oh, yeah, all right. Huh. Okay, dude. I guess you can't really tell me anything. He didn't really say anything before. He just said, like, I tell fortunes, but that was it. Nothing much from that, so. Take your best shot. Hit me with your best shot and fly away. Barbarian. Yeah, I think this style is the same. One hand behind your back. I'd like to see that. <laughs> if we can only stop all the fist, fist, uh, silly fist and the fighting. Like Russell Crowe's fighting around the world. Massages and baths. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're the uh, massage guy. No new dollar from you. A bath? Be careful to make it hot enough to boil fish. Huh. All right, let's uh, see the items we got. I won't use the items right this second, but I want to show off. Let's see. Where do you drop off your stuff at? Uh, here it is. Pound him, which is uh, Milda's mace experience. Chop him, which is her axe experience. And sword experience, which is cut him. So cut him, pound him, chop him. It says how to on each of them. Nice. But yep. So that tells you Milda will never join the group again. Yeah, unfortunately this game doesn't do the whole... Um, doesn't do the whole uh, a character leaves and then comes back as soon as they leave that's it 
Yeah, these are the brothers that are... Yeah, they're trying to see who gets the massage first. So. Okay, that's the same. Yeah, sorry if I'm... I'm just trying to remember to go through all these. Like I said, I like I like trying to find like the little bits of dialogue that maybe we missed before or that changes in between the... Uh, and that's the same, it seems like, so... I said I'm not. I don't remember every single line of dialogue, but I get a pretty. I got. I got a pretty gist of what what everyone said before. So, because even though it's been a week or so since I last was at this place, I think it was a week. Yeah, of recording anyway. Sometimes we'll record like a ton of episodes back to back, but there's quite a few times where I'll uh, where I'll, I'll take some breaks in between the recordings, and so it might be a week before I get back to a certain thing. Yeah. Praise the Moge for their, for their water situation. Hey, Just, those Lanians talked about the temple door. Is that it? It certainly has three eyes. If we fit the metal in there, it will work. Good. Wait a minute, Justin. If we open the door now, the water will flow in? If so, there's only three of us to drink it off. If Just and I do half each. That's not right. Look, Dorma didn't say that... We need the cooperation of the Moge. That's right. He said that if we are not recognized by the Moge, the door won't be open. But the only Moge we know is Guido. Oh, hey, you're really here. Is it you, is it it? The adventure with the spirit storm. Just like the elder said, a very cute, the red-headed one. Well, and my grandmother, she had a bit of that. Uh, but he's got a bushy red hair. How did he know? How did you know that? I have the spirit stone. That's... <laughs> Excuse me, uh, it's a bit of talking silly again. It's a bad habit. I'm Ajina, the elder. He said that he's been looking for you. The Moge Elder House? Justin, perhaps. Ah, if he recognizes us, maybe he'll open the door. Say, Gina, would you take us to meet the Moge Elder, would you please? Of course, if that's what the elder intended, what he sent to me. The elder's house is a cellar where the Moge live. When you meet the elder, he will surely be a surprise. Ooh. All right, thanks, Gina. You do have a red hair, but your eyes are pretty cool. My grandma, she often said, if I met a person with the stars and eyes, that person would be important. True, the elder has a pretty stars, too. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I did it again. The elders are waiting in the cellar. Go quickly. Oh, bunny girl. I guess that could be cute, but she's more bunny than girl, so we'll just leave it to the... She's a cute character, type of character. I'm praying that the meeting you is a one of the important meetings for me. Is that a little for the me? The elders are waiting. Quickly, go into the Moge cellar. <sighs> yeah, I, I, bunny girls, I prefer them to be more girl than bunny, if you know what I mean. What? Fine weather? I guess so, but it's a little too hot for me. Now this is the guy who's like kind of talking, taking forever to talk. Yep, but well now we got our objective, so let's go talk to the elder. But give me a second while I uh, talk to some more people, see if the... Okay, Maybe that's the same as before. This is completely stupid. <laughs> yeah, this is the guy who uh, who is high on shrooms or whatever, so... Yeah, give me... If you want to give me a Brenny girl, give me, like, Fran from Final Fantasy XII or Moroku... Moroka or Moroko from, uh... Um, uh... My Hero Academia. I had to think for a second. Are they Tell me, are all the spices really hot? No. Some are sweet, sour, spicy. Either one. Choose your destination. Choose your destiny. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, I'm not, a spi I'm not a fan of spicy foods. You can't make me. You can't make me eat them. Or at least chew on them. Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, it's a very strange place indeed. Because of all the, th the three people living here, I think people would be a bit more uh, high strung. It doesn't sounds too simple, doesn't it? But where do you think you'll get all the things you have to sell? No. <laughs> well, my friend, I think you're rather mistaken. Yeah, this is the guy who wanted to go back home. What if Guido taught you how to conduct business? Nope. Yeah, exactly. So he wants to be a merchant. Well, you can't just stumble into it. 
I'm not sure Tornico, but then again, he eventually learned, uh, he, uh, he stumbled into it head first and knew exactly what to do. From, uh, he's from Dragon Quest, uh, four, I believe. He's a silly character. Will enough, he's like, technically in game, he's the worst character, but he was the most uh, interesting character in the game from a comedic standpoint that he was given his own game. No one else but him. <laughs> Which is kind of funny when you think about it. I think it's because he was really popular in Japan, so they decided to give him a uh, uh, this is a single lady. Reminds me of the warbling of an old man. Of course, an old man's song. Only worse. La 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 la. Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting how some dialogue changes when you don't have Milda with you. So. Yeah, let's take your money and flee. Don't let them take your money, man. People in the cities. Yeah. What do they say? They say the life expectancy increases every generation as long as they have food, shelter, and entertainment. Because each one uh, sustains a part of the body that's important. Yeah, we ran into her. She's scatterbrained? So she, she should have talked like a valley girl then? Ooh, ouch, ooh, ouch, ooh, ouch. I don't even think most people outside of my country know what a uh, valley girl is. That's not really something you see too often anymore. At least the idea of the valley girl has kind of changed considerably over the years. They're the girls that talk like this? And what are you talking about? You know, that type of thing. Well, I'm glad they hired your sister, I guess. That's great. They're good people. They're good servants in the world like me. Wait, what? Okay. Why do we call ourselves a servant? Are you the person who goes to the coffee shops and writes all day and, ho all day and hoping your st stage play or your screenplay gets so sold to Hollywood so you can make a killing for the rest of your days by selling that one little thing? Yeah, you'd be surprised how many people go to like Hollywood and try to uh, sell their screenplay and just, just get that quick payday. But usually it doesn't work out like that. The residents on the street don't seem to get along. That is, this isn't so? Huh. Yeah, this guy was on the other side of the counter last time we were here, by the way. He was uh, nervous to talk to us. I think he was trying to get a job, or he w did have the job, and he was uh, nervous of talking to people. Huh. Yeah, so there's some slight changes. I do like when you go back to an old town and there's some differences. Either people say something different, like something changed them, like either bad or good. So it kind of evolves the character story a little bit. Can't buy a practical jar. Yeah, I'm not really a big fan of stuff that has no use that's, uh, for being, like, uh, other than being art. Not that I have anything, uh, not that I don't like art, per se. It's just, I'm a more practical guy. I like stuff that actually has function. Overall. Like, with the, how much money I make in my day, which is not a lot, I have to kind of be careful with what I spend my money on, so. I'm one of those guys that, like, I, I worked, I, I tried doing the whole working hard and working 40 hours a week and all this other stuff. And, you know, you get disappointed with it. That one thing happens and you get, you, you learn the truth and you're like, you know what? No more. I'll make my money some other way. It won't be a lot, but. Well, now you can draw me because now, uh, now, uh, um, Milda's gone. So draw me. Sure. Give it a man's bearing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. And it's his determined look. Nice. Hey, the just we know has a more playful face, don't you think? What? No way. This is how I always look. Thank you, Miss Artist. And we've already done rap. So. He does the finger in his nose thing. Great, but didn't hurt having your finger in your nose all this time? What are you saying? My nose is not so bad. Oh, I guess that dialogue was different, so. What, me? All right, then. How about this pose? Okay, sorry. I skipped through it because I thought it was the same, but slightly different. Fish. Yeah. Yeah, he stuck his finger in his nose this whole time. He thinks there's a problem with his nose. No, it's... Dude, you put your finger in your nose. How about you, Fina? Hey, but I don't really feel like it. Ah, oh, come on. I haven't seen you smiling very much lately. How about... Let's get you drawn. That's it. Finishing touches. I'm done. What's it look like? I think that's different from the portraits you got last time. Yes, yes, that's it. As you expect, Fina always looks best when she smiles. 
Maybe so. Then I'll never fret again. Thank you, Justin. I can. I know why she's acting like this. Uh, it's just, you know, it, it's one of those parts in the game. Uh, uh, usually a story will have a scene where the characters are dour or depressed for a short period of time. Uh, depending on the game, I don't want to last too long because it can overstay its welcome. And yes, some people can stay depressed for the rest of their days or for months to years, depending on the personality. But from a story's perspective, it gets old pretty fast. So, especially if the character is always happy the whole time and then they their character takes a 180. And like I said, it depends on the story and how you write it. If you write it poorly, it looks, it looks, it doesn't feel good. You know what I mean? What, what are you saying? I don't understand a word. Use words I understand. Yeah, he's talking about our sense of fashion. Are you looking for a fight? I don't understand at all. Active element about pants? What? Who are you? Watch where you're touching. I feel like I'll end up naked here. <laughs> yeah, don't accost me on the street, lady. Yeesh. All right, let's talk to the Mogay now. Yeah, I tried to skim this one a little bit quickly. It might be a longer episode just because of that, but I want to make up for, for, you know, trying to unlock all this dialogue. So, well, unlock it isn't like you need to do it or something like that, which is not true. Yeah, he did. Okay, who's the elder? I wonder. Must be a really old, old uh, rabbit. I wonder what an old Mogay looks like. You know, they probably got the whole beard situation and all that other stuff, you know? I mean, it makes sense, I guess. But I don't know. Not every not every race does the whole... Has a ton of ton of hair and all that, so, you know, maybe that's only for standard mammals. Oh, you figured out how to uh, raise the carrots right, huh? Good for you. Yeah, her dialogue changed from... She had trouble... She didn't want to raise regular carrots. She wanted something different. Yeah, she found us. Uh, the will of the Mogay, huh? What is the will of the Mogay? Money? We've got to have more money. No one's gonna get that reference, I don't think. That's fine. I make way too many random references anyway that people are like, what are you talking about? I'm like, I'm talking about money. Yeah. Or, well, I'm talking about stuff from like the 80s and 90s. So, for a lot of people, they're like, <laughs> they feel like I'm blabbering like a weirdo, which is true, but still. Cheers returns to Gumbo. Okay, yeah, we, we were there at the... the uh, so, they, I will say the volcano did, did good for them. Everything's going up gravy in Gumbo. I like the fact that we learned stuff about what happened back in old areas through, like, word of mouth or something like that, just to say, oh, hey, some things have changed, or for the better or for the worse, you know? Like I said, it makes the world feel like it's alive. Huh. Refugees because of, uh, with the, uh, I assume because of the, um, every, every major place turning to stone because of the Garlisle army, so. Water, food, tent, hat, hat, you need your hat. Actually, if you're in the desert, you do need a hat so you don't get sun burned on your skull. People don't realize you can't get sunburned on your head. Alright, any other, I think I, I was trying to think if I missed a, something or not. I don't think so. I think I've got everything, so. Let's see, there's Mogay House 1. I thought there was another. Uh, where is the other house? I thought there was another one right here. Unless I missed it. I could probably find it on the way back. I could swear there was another house around here somewhere. Okay, well, I'll go through the natural house. I was just, I could swear there was another, another building or door I missed somewhere around here. Where's the second one? There's supposed to be a first one around here somewhere. Uh, give me, maybe I'll, I might cut for a second and see if I can find it. Yeah, give me just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, the house is over here, which is the Moga, which is the Elder's house, and there's the first house right there. So I thought I was missing like a couple of doors somewhere. I don't know why I was having trouble finding it. It's all about angles, folks. All about the angles. All right. Anyway, okay. House number two. Hmm. He's gone. Wait. Then who are we talking to in the elder's house? So if someone's there as a representative, then. Hmm. Okay. Soup, huh? Yeah. I don't know why I was having trouble finding it. Like, uh, 
some days I'll like at my age sometimes you'll just get like brain farts where your brain just like does not want to compute properly even though you should know better but oh well that's just how it is folks oh just ten just ten I don't know about this, Justin. <laughs> this Justin is an interesting case. He really takes the cake. You're so harsh. I'm Justin. No. Oh, yep. Yeah, don't get mad. It doesn't matter. I'm not mad at all. Just as long as you understand me. Just as long as we understand each other, if you know what I mean. Anyway. Yeah. Well. Actually, I assume over the course of the game we do actually change our clothes because realistically our clothes probably would have worn out if we wore the same clothes all the time. So if it was like an anime, the it would change our clothes every once in a while just to show that we've we've actually been... Oh, when we do wear different armor and stuff like that. It's just easier not to put the... At least back in the day, anyway. Cure rashness? Well, there's, uh, they're saying to cure rashes? But, uh... Um, but yeah, back in the day, obviously, you'd have to use a palette swap, and that would have been too much work. Nowadays, you can easily put different outfits on a character because of the way the, the uh, well, it's basically a palette swap system. I forgot, like layering system or whatever. So, wait, wait a minute. You're the elder? Oh, it's a bit of a long time. The couple, brave a couple, you gave it to me, just as I like you promised. This is a humble house to meet the people invited to Angelou. Well, please stay a while. And listen, Guido, you really do know everything. Did you foresee about Lane too? A merchant, he lives a by information that the three wise men had ain. That was very heavy. Thanks to a monster called Gaia, people in the forest returned to stone. The only way to return those people to normal is to go to Lent. Hey, which reminds me, there's no time for small talk. Please, Guido, take us to meet the Mogay Elder. They told us in Lane that the key to Lent is in the underground temple of Zilpaden. In order to open the door of the temple, you must be approved by the Moge. I really want to go to Lent. I understand it, Justin. However, one thing before that, I want you to answer my question. Why do you want to go to Lent? Uh. Well, at, at first, it's probably the mysteries of Angelou. It doesn't really matter what choice you make, so. Well, probably to be her just because we were like, oh, cute lady. If you wish to meet this Lente, what do you tend to do? Will your travels end there? So far, you have always traveled. Is that a truly the only thought born inside you? Uh, no, it's just that. Can't tell you an answer. I know sense of meeting the elder. Why do you want to go to Lent? Uh, solve the mysteries of Angelou? Why do you want to solve the puzzle of the ancient civilization? Shouldn't that be over and done? So far, you have always traveled. Is that a truly the only thought born inside you? No, it's just that. Can't tell you an answer? Then there's a no sense in meeting the Elder. Why do you want to go to Lent? Well, ob obvious answer is to save the world! Well, it's a JRPG! Of course we're gonna do that at one point. What is a it? When I started traveling, I just wanted to try going. That was it. But now it's different. I want to go to Lent to protect this world. Yeah, J Justin's matured. Not that there's anything wrong with adventuring. It's just, there just needs to be more to it now than just seeing things. Protect the world? You're neither a spirit nor a guardian. How good you would do that? Well, congratulations, Justin. The Mogay Elder approves of you. You are the pr proper person to go to Lent. Oh, sorry, I spoiled it like five minutes before the game tells us that uh, Guido's the Elder. Yeah, like that was this big shock. Huh, the Elder? What, could it be that Guido is the Elder? I like you, Justin. You are always looking ahead, way ahead of everyone else. Then let's go to the underground temple of Zilpedon to look for the key to a land. Guido? Huh? We are entered the temple with this. The barrier water has been removed. Thank you, Guido. Great, I can see a lint. Well, to the underground temple, everyone. And with that, we get a new party member in Guido. All right. So, yeah, Guido, the, well, Mogay Elder has joined our party. Let's take a look at him. So, overall, he's got a decent act and move. He's not as fast as everyone else, of course, unfortunately. But at least he's faster than uh, uh, Milda was by far. And he's got okay defense. His attack, yeah, his attack's kind of low, unfortunately. Guido suffers from... 
temporary party member syndrome. Yeah, he's a temporary party member. Uh, because if you look at his uh, magic, he has no magic. Yeah, he can't cast spells. So he's he's basically an assistant to uh, to Rap in terms of IP loss and stuff like that. Sometimes people will uh, make Guido the secondary healer by just giving him mag uh, healing items to help like have the three party members do whatever while Guido just heals if it comes down to it. And yeah, he's already got all of his abilities unlocked. We just have to do one more level in Sword and get him uh, his final ability. But he's got Mogay Shot, Mogay Bomb, Hope Mogay Hip Hypo, and Mogay Pick. Mogay Pick is the only pickpocketing ability in the game, so we can actually steal from opponents now as Guido. But unfortunately, it's only temporary, so don't don't consider this a long-term thing with Guido's pickpocketing ability. I will try to use it to try and get rare items if I can. But it's not a guarantee, but it's a chance to get those items in the first place. And, uh, yeah, we need some building up to do with this uh, sword skill. So we'll definitely be equipping it with a sword ability. Uh, or sword of some sort. Uh, let's give him the... Let's give him the lightning sword for now. But, but yeah, he also uses, uh, uh, sword, uh, sword, uh, bow, and knife. So, unfortunately, he competes directly with, with rap in terms of his abilities. So, yeah, but luckily... Uh, you should be able to just kind of co uh, kind of swap off between two different weapons between the characters uh, all the time. And since Justin and I swapped him over to uh, Mace for a while, we can uh, you know give Raps some sword levels again too or whatever. So and he comes with PSN knife if you want poison, possible chance of poisoning, but nothing big about that. Um, yeah, I like Guido as a character, but yeah, he comes kind of a little too late and he doesn't stay in the party for super long. And he doesn't he his, I mean other than his pickpocketing skills. There's not much else he adds to the party, but it's still interesting to have him nonetheless. But uh, what will uh, uh, Guido's contribution be to this whole party itself? What awaits us in the Zill Runes itself? And what can we pickpocket along the way? Find out next time in the next episode of Grandia. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.